my dear sewing friends welcome to my channel divine Fuller stitches i'm Fola, and today's video will be on how to read a tape measure correctly in this video as well i will be explaining the decimal aspect of tape reading so get your tape measure get a pen and a paper before i go on are you subscribed to this channel are you if you are not yet subscribed, why don't you click on the subscribe button down below? Yes, click on it right now and subscribe to this channel. Turn on the notification bell so you get notified each time I upload a new video. And also, like and share this video. So, let's get right into it. So guys, I had to remove the metal at the head here something like this so you could see the bars very well and also for clear visibility i drew the bars here the bars from zero to one to two inches i drew them on this paper so you could see the bars clearly now let's go as you can see if you can clearly see the bars on this tape measure you will see that we have the zero bar yeah this is the zero bar and between the zero bar to the one inch bar we have eight bars so let's count we have one two three four five six seven eight now each bar has its own specification now the first bar here is the zero inch bar which is nothing and this bar right here the bar after the zero inch bar is the one eight bar as you can see i said there are eight inches between the zero bar and the one inch bar the one inch bar is the eighth bar so each bar is one eighth of an inch one eighth of an inch one eighth of an inch to the one inch bar so this is one eighth of an inch this is two eighths of an inch which is one quarter i will come back to how i got one quarter this is a three eighths of an inch this is the half inch bar this is the five eighths of an inch three quarter of an inch seven eighths of an inch and the one inch bar you know i said this is the one eighth of an inch bar while this is two eighths of an inch now let's talk a little about mathematics you don't have to be scared it's just a little mathematics so this is two eighths of an inch and when we have numbers like this where you have the numerator and the denominator they are called fractions now you have to bring all fractions to the lowest form so this is one eighth of an inch this is two eighths of an inch which is also two over eight two eighths of an inch is also 2 over 8. You can still divide both numbers by 2. So 2 year 1, 2 in 8, 4. That is how I got quarter inch year. So you have to bring all fraction to the lowest form. Now this is 3 eighths of an inch. This is half inch, which is supposed to be 4 eighths of an inch, which is 4 over 8. 4 is divisible in both numbers. So 4 year 1, 4 year 2. That is how we got half. 1 over 2 is half inch. Now this is 5 eighths of an inch. This is 3 quarter of an inch, which was also brought to the lowest fraction. 7 eighths of an inch and the 1 inch bar. You would notice that all the other fractions that could not be brought lower are, are what 
odd numbers. Do numerators are odd numbers? That is numbers that cannot be divisible by two. Can you see? So that is why they couldn't be brought to the lowest form. But where you have numbers that could be brought to the lowest form, you have to bring them to the lowest fraction. For example, two eighths of an inch, which we brought to quarter inch. Um, yeah, where you have four eighths of an inch, which we brought to half inch. Three quarter, this should be six eighths of an inch, which is six over eight. Six over eight. Two is divisible in both. Two in six, three times. Two in eight, four times. That is how I got the three quarter inch. So each bar has its own specification. For example, now on your tape measure, you can see that we have the zero bar. On the tape measure, you can see that we have the zero bar here. This is the zero bar. I hope you can see it clearly. This is the zero bar. This is the one hit bar. This is the one hit of an inch bar. This is the one quarter of an inch bar. This is the three eighths of an inch bar. This is the half inch bar. This is the five eighths of an inch bar. Three quarter of an inch bar. Seven eighth of an inch bar and the one inch bar. So each bar has its own specification. Now let's go over it again. This is the zero bar, one eighth of an inch bar, quarter of an inch bar, three eighths of an inch bar, half inch bar, five eighths of an inch bar, three quarter of an inch bar, seven eighths of an inch bar, one inch bar, one one eight inches, one one quarter inches. One three eight inches, one and a half inches, one five eight inches, one three quarter inches, one seven eight inches, and the two inches bar. And it goes on and on to the last inch. So each bar has its own specification as what it works for. Now, there are some situations where you have a tape measure. You know, this tape measure has eight bars between zero and one inch bar, between one inch and two inches bar, between two inches and three inches bar. There are eight bars. There are some tape measures that come with 16 bars. They are still the same thing. So let's look at it. I just have the tape measure, but I have a draft of a 16 bar tape measure. Now, it's still the same thing. Instead of using eight, like one eight, one out of eight of an inch, you use what? One sixteen of an inch. One eight of an inch. This was also brought to the lowest fraction. It should be two sixteen of an inch. So, one eight of an inch, three sixteen of an inch, one quarter of an inch, which was also brought to the lowest fraction, 5 16 of an inch, 3 eighths of an inch, 7 16 of an inch, half inch, also brought to the lowest fraction, 9 16 of an inch, 5 eighths of an inch, 11 16 of an inch, 3 quarter of an inch, 13 16 of an inch, 7 eighths of an inch, 15 16 of an inch, and the 1 inch bar. So it's still the same thing. If you have a tape measure with 16 bars, just note each specification, each bar specification. So this is the zero inch bar, the one sixteen of an inch bar, one eighth of an inch bar, 
three sixteen of an inch bar, one quarter of an inch bar, five sixteen of an inch bar, three eighths of an inch bar, seven sixteen of an inch bar, the half inch bar, nine sixteen of an inch bar, five eighths of an inch bar, eleven sixteen of an inch bar, three quarter bar, thirteen sixteen of an inch bar, seven eighths of an inch bar, fifteen sixteen of an inch bar and the one inch bar and it also goes on and on to the last inch now going back to the tape measure now going back to the tape measures that have eight bars which i use now going to the decimal aspect of tape reading Yes, let's go to the decimal aspect of tape reading. And what do I mean by decimal aspect? That is a situation where you have point, point, dash, 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 number. How do you go about that? I also drafted the decimal numbers that we have for each specification on these bars. Let's look at them. Now, 0.125 is your one-eighth of an inch bar. This is 0.125, your one-eighth of an inch bar. Let me get my calculator. And your 0.25 is your one-quarter of an inch bar. When you do your division of 37 divided by 4, 37 divided by 4 equals to 9.25. Now, how, how do you get that on your tape measure? 9.25 is 9 and your 1 quarter inch bar, which is 9. This is 9 inches and this bar. Right here, let me use a tiny pointer so you can see it. 9.25. This is your 0.25. This bar right here is your 0.25. Your one quarter of an inch bar is your 0.25. Now, your 0.375 is your 3 eighths of an inch bar. So, when you do your division and you get your inch or a whole number point three point a whole number point three seven five it is your three eighths of an inch bar now where you have point five zero or point five point five and point five zero are the same thing that is your half inch bar your half inch bar for example thirty eight inches divided by four is 9.5 that is nine and half which is right here on your tape measure 9.5 inches nine and half inches which is your half inch bar your 0 0.50 is your half inch bar and your 0 0.625 is your 5 eighths of an inch bar your 0.625 is your point is your sorry your six your point six to five is your five eighths of an inch bar while your point seven five is your three quarter of an inch bar this bar right here is your point seven five and your point eight seven five is your seven eighth of an inch bar now how did i arrive at this when you take the division of 1 divided by 8, let me use my calculator, 1 divided by 8 is 0 0.125. I hope you can see it clearly. It's 0 0.125. Can you see it? And 1 divided by 4 is what? Is 0 
is 0 0.25. So that is how I arrived at this. 0.25 is, is your quarter of an inch bar. When you divide, when you when you divide 3 by 8, 3 divided by 8 is your 0 0.375. So that is how you get your decimal aspect of tape reading. Now, when you know this, you don't have to necessarily approximate to the nearest whole number. Sometimes you can approximate. And other times, you don't need to necessarily approximate. When you know the right bars to use in your measurement. So... That is that on how to read a tape measure perfectly. This is all you need in your tape measure reading. Now, when you are doing your division, for example, you want to divide a bust circumference of 36 divided by 4 equals to 9. That is a whole number. So, your 9 inches is right here. Your 9 inches is this. Now, let's go to circumferences that come with decimal numbers. For example, 37 divided by 4 equals to 9.25. 9.25 is this. 9.25. 9.25 is your 1 quarter of an inch. 9 inches and 1 quarter. 9.25 let's let's do another one 39 divided by 4 equals to 9.75 9.75 and 0.75 is your three quarter of an inch bar can you see so can you see 9.75 let's look at it on the tape measure. So this is 9.75. Right here. 9.75. Your three quarter of an inch is your 0.75. So this is 9.75 inches. And going over to other examples. 27. Let's say you have a waist circumference of 27 divided by 4 equals to 6.75 and your 0.75 is your three quarter inch as well. So 6.75. 6.75. Can you see it? 6.75. So guys, that is that on how to read a tape measure correctly and perfectly. And also how to get the decimal aspects of tape reading you can see it is very easy very simple yes so now you can go on to take your accurate tape measure reading in all your drafting and your cutting so guys if this tutorial has been helpful why don't you give me a giant thumbs up share this video and also subscribe to this channel and turn on the notification bell to get notified each time I upload a new video. I'll see you in my next video. Bye!